It's still hard to believe that this game came out seven years ago and is still a masterpiece to this day. Welcome everyone and it is Jayco back again with another GTA 5 video and today we're going to be celebrating a little bit of the GTA 5 seventh birthday. This game has been out for seven years. It, it, it's nuts. This trailer came out when I was only nine years old, November 2nd, 2011, just three years after GTA 4 came out on the Xbox 360 and PS3. This trailer is so old, it doesn't even have 1080p yet. I remember watching the trailer for the very first time thinking that, you know, this this game in my nine year old brain was just a completely different universe, a whole nother planet, a whole nother just gargantuan massive game to explore that my m little mind could not even fathom yet. Even after the trailer released, all we had to do from there was just wait. We had no other news to when it was actually releasing. It got delayed, I think, once or twice, if I'm not correct. Could be thinking about Red Dead 2. But all we had to do was wait. And, you know, we couldn't. I When I was nine, you know, life just went by so slow. I, 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 I thought I'd be waiting forever. I thought I'd be dead by the time the game came out. But then it finally came out. After a 2013 summer full of trailers, the Michael Franklin Trevor trailer, all the epic trailers for GTA Online, the game finally came out September 17th in 2013 when I was just a wee lad. Um, I would have been 11 at the time in 6th grade. 6th grade, man. Holy shit. School that day couldn't go by any slower. Football practice that day couldn't go by any slower. And on top of that, I was really, really lucky and had a dentist appointment after my football practice too. But after that, my mom and I finally went to GameStop with my brother as well to go pick up GTA 5 on the Xbox 360 on September 17th, 2013. I remember coming home and then realizing there was two discs. Why? Why is there two discs? One of them was the installation version, <laughs> and the other one was the actual game. And of course, you had to wait for the install. It wasn't even that massive today. We think of games like 40, 50 plus gigabytes. It's pretty big. But the game at the time was not nearly as big on the Xbox 360. But then again, it wasn't running at these higher frames or whatever. But still, it took hours and i just barely got to play the game right before i went to bed for about an hour I finished the prologue ran around with franklin for a little while just wishing i could stay on longer but unfortunately i had school and other stuff the next day just like any other sixth grader wishing i could play more and more of this new game that i just picked up for the very first time getting set down in los santos for the very first time is is a memory i will never ever forget and a feeling i will also never ever ever forget i remember just being so anxious and almost overwhelmed in the size of the map opening up on the pause menu for the very first time and i couldn't fathom what this story what this game what this world had come in for me a couple weeks later then on october 1st gta online officially dropped and it was a fucking mess let me tell you but i was one of the lucky ones i came home from school that day a nice hard day of sixth grade the servers were stroking out i had a bunch of trouble but i was just barely able to get the prologue and introduction done before i had to go to football practice that night it was one of the biggest world releases of a video game that I could remember. The next biggest one I would have to say was probably Red Dead 2, just because it had a lot of hype around it because it was Rockstar, you know. But I remember at football practice at school, everyone was asking me what it was like because either some of my friends weren't able to play GTA 5 yet or they just didn't have their hands on the GTA 5 yet because they were getting it for Christmas or something, you know. It was one of the most magical things just trying to explain to people what this game was like but them never ever ever knowing what it was like until of course they got their hands on the game itself the game would then be remastered to be on ps4 and xbox one about a year and a couple months later in november i remember seeing that trailer for the very first time as well I was also one of the very lucky people that was able to get GTA 5 on next gen for the PlayStation 4 on its release date. And it was one of the actual last games I've ever bought the, the disc version for too, back in 2014. 
Six more years later, we would get another remastered trailer for the game coming out on PS5 and Xbox One Series X sometime in 2021. That trailer dropped in June. You guys probably remember it from the PlayStation 5 reveal event. Being one of the few people that got this game on its first release date back in 2013 on the Xbox 360 and PS3, I've bought it all the way up pretty much on every single system uh, until now and I've had nothing but an incredible amount of fun in the past seven years of playing it. Um, I have my still have my legit PS4 account uh, with my original GTA Online player with over 100 days played on my PS4 right now. I was thinking about making a video on that if you guys are interested drop me a one down below if you guys are watching this far into the video. Maybe it's because I'm older, maybe it's because of the nostalgia, maybe it's because of the memories, but this is my favorite game of all time, and it's taken my heart away, just swept it away uh, since the very first release date, even the very first trailer, just fathoming what this game could possibly be, what it could possibly lead up to, and just how far it's come today. This game has had over 36 content updates, um, all the way dating back to Beach Bum in 2013, all the way to the summer special update of 2020, which honestly is kind of disappointing because I, I personally think Beach Bum has been better than the summer special update crap. There's been some good ones, there's been some bad ones, but overall, this game has changed so much and has lasted us so long and has given me and many, many others, including my friends, some of you guys, um, just so much fun. Say what you want about Rockstar, say what you want about Take Two, say what you want about Grand Theft Auto, say what you want about Grand Theft Auto Online, about the microtransactions, the, the certain vehicles in the game, uh, cough, cough, oppressor. But this game is a broken masterpiece and no one could ever, ever change my mind. GTA Online especially has been the more broken than masterpiece. It has been a great online experience since day one. Now maybe server wise, you know, there's definitely a lot of problems with it. But overall, you can hop on with some friends, go to a strip club, do a jetpack race, rob a bank, all in the same hour. And I still think to this day, it is one of the funnest online experiences you can have in a video game to this date since 2013 to 2020 gta online is great it's also pretty crazy to think that gta 4 was their only other grand theft auto online quote unquote gta 4 was their very first multiplayer none of the other gta's had it before red dead kind of had a gta 4 multiplayer to it it's just pretty much free roam run around some game modes but gta 5 is their second crack at making an online ever they made Red Dead 1, it was pretty much similar to GTA 4, but GTA 4 and GTA 5 are their only online multiplayers in Grand Theft Auto history. The other one from San Andreas was a mod. You look at great games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, those games have always been online. But GTA 5 and the Grand Theft Auto franchise has never been very online focused until I would say about GTA Online, GTA 4 was more single player and still like single player DLC stuff. It did still have a fun free mode online with some game modes, but the replayability wasn't there. And bombing the base twice for God knows how many long would get boring, trust me. GTA Online has been kicking for over seven years now. Well, almost seven years. October 1st will be its seventh year, and it's made billions of dollars along with the game selling and smashing records and being the top grossing entertainment item of all time. With that being said, where in the hell is GTA 6? I bet you guys were wondering when I would get to this part. Like I mentioned earlier, GTA 5 got its very first teaser trailer back in 2011, three years after the release of Grand Theft Auto 4. And then on top of those two years, we finally got GTA 5, September 17th, 2013, just five years after GTA 4's April of 2008 launch. It's been seven years, and at this rate, we still haven't even received a trailer. 
Now, I guess the latest it can be this year is around November, December, considering the GTA 5 trailer first came out November 2nd of 2011, so there's still a chance of getting a trailer this year, but I'm not getting my hopes up, and neither should you guys. I'm not a, I'm not a Rockstar worker. I don't know anything about the game or when it comes out. I guess what I'm trying to bring up is, is that this game was made in five years and has been added on, updated, and just been created into this beautiful mess of a masterpiece brokenness of just awesomeness. <laughs> I love this game, even though GTA Online can have its iffy points, but you gotta remember that some of the old, old features in GTA Online for like for example bounties or car insurance was a feature back in 2013 things we really shouldn't even have now spending 10 grand to blow up an oppressor that was shooting at you first is kind of stupid but that was one of the very old features that was out in 2013 and my opinion should be updated but where was I yeah I, 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 I digress but to think what they've made in five years and on top of the seven years after release, this game is still a very fun game to play and it is still my favorite of all time and still has taken hearts of many, many, many other fans and they still play it to this day too. They still smash records every time they make an update. The summer, <laughs> the summer update wasn't that great, but the Diamond Casino update actually peaked in players in 2019, six years after release. Six years, man. GTA 5 is up there with a little, very small, elite handful of games that has just lived past even one or two years of, you know, of release. Seven years later, we're still playing this game today. So, I guess what I really want to end this video off of, the GTA 5 anniversary, 7th year anniversary, 7th birthday, whatever you want to call it, I just want to leave you guys with this. Imagine everything you know about GTA 6 leaks, whether they're real or not, which most of them probably aren't real. Imagine that none of them are real just for a second, and we have no idea what this game is going to be. We have no idea the size, we have no idea the strength, or just the power it will have to just, just blow our freaking minds. Think back one day, we couldn't fathom the size or the way GTA 5 looked. It looked real life back in my 9 year old eyes, and it probably looked real life back in your eyes too. Video games have come so far, it's just, un it's crazy honestly. Now imagine 7, 8, even maybe 9 years plus of development for this GTA 6 game that we still know nothing about. That's just still so crazy to me that we know nothing about this game and it damn well could have been being developed back in 2014, maybe even a little bit earlier right after GTA 5's release and could easily, easily not be released until 2023, 2022, somewhere around there, maybe even 2024. It could very well have a 10 year development cycle. But if there's one thing I know, Rockstar is going to make this new game, GTA 6, a fucking masterpiece take everything wrong and everything you hate every little terrible thing about gta online and gta 5 and they might fix it they might just have you know the right the right marbles the right potions to just make this crazy master plan i know i'm sounding crazy myself but who knows what the hell this thing and how great it's going to be i still sometimes sit back in gta 5 like right here on the maze bank and just and, and just look at the beauty of the city and just it still blows my mind to this day that you know i've been playing this game since i was 11. i was in sixth grade when this game came out and i just graduated high school and i'm now going to college like i said gta 5 is my favorite game of all time and it was only made in five years now gta 6 is going to be bigger and it's going to be crazier and it's going to take way longer than we expected. But hey, maybe, maybe, just maybe, them crazy people at Rockstar will just make it all worth it for us. And blow our minds whenever that trailer comes out. And within the next year or two, hopefully, hopefully we get a trailer soon. But uh, yeah, that's really all I want to leave you guys with today. Happy birthday, GTA. And thank you for being everything that I've ever wanted in a video game and still being my favorite to this day. 
And um, yeah, that's really where I'm going to put you guys for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe. And if you and your friends haven't hopped on GTA Online in a while, hop in a friends only session if you hate the online toxicity. And just play for a while. Because I know I've made plenty of memories playing this game. And you know, this game is just awesome. Goodbye.